After 13 years of service, Ray retires in 2004, passing the baton to Reverend Graham Long. Graham brings with him a strong vision of creating a community with no us and them, and a tireless commitment to love over hate. When Graham starts at Wayside, just six staff members and a bunch of volunteers are doing the brunt of the work. The building is in disrepair, and funds are desperately in short supply. Despite the challenge, he sets about raising $8 million to return Wayside to its former glory. The global financial crisis hits, just as Graham and his team embark on a fundraising mission that more than a few say is impossible. The future of Wayside hangs in the balance. The thought of a Sydney without Wayside strikes a chord and stirs the emotion of everyone from neighbours to politicians. With a lot of effort, Wayside reaches its fundraising target with major financial support from both federal and state government and private investors.